UK Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com. Now, let's move on, okay? Uh, we'll see, we'll, we'll speak something about a variable that is your final, okay? Now, in this case, in all the cases, in, in our, all our previous cases, uh, I made something as uh, count call and I'm incrementing this call. And if it is a non-static variable, I want to basically, I can come here, right? I can say uh, equals to 10, right? So I can, okay, this is a static. So in your non-static variable uh, method, if I say public void, uh, let's say multi, multiply, okay? So in this in this particular method, I can say uh, non-static dot equals to 10. I mean, initially the value of non-static is uh, zero and I, I'm incrementing the value to, uh, to 10. Sorry, I'm initializing the value to 10 here, okay? So you are, pretty much flexible here to do anything with your non-static variables or your static variables. You can basically increment it or you can do whatever things you want, okay? But at point of time, uh, yes, yes, uh, key just hang on, okay? Uh, at this point of time, what I can do is, I if suppose, let's say, you are uh, having a value, let's say uh, int pi, okay? This is value of pi, right? So it is, uh, let me make it as float. And the value of pi is around 3.14, right? Let's say. Now, mm, okay. Okay. Now, if you can see here, uh, when I make the float pi, I when I say 3.14, I give a value as f at the end. Okay, otherwise it is going to give you a compile time. It says a type cannot convert from double to float. So as I'm using a float, it is giving me uh, to convert your double to float. Basically, when you say 3.14, it is a float. I can even say double also here, and I'm good here. Okay, but as an example, if you use a float you basically tend to uh, cast that if you want to use, you can use a float here, okay? And uh, you can basically use it accordingly. Now, I want, you know that always the value of a pi is around 3.14, okay? And you do want, you, in your entire application, in your entire calculation, somebody wants to use it, they're very welcome to use the value of pi, okay? So, but still I have an access that I can change the value of pi somewhere in my, anywhere. Let's say I want to say pie equals to 12, right? I still have an option to change the value of the pi here, right? So what I can do is instead of uh, giving somebody access to change the value of pi, I can very well make this as final. All right, this means when you make any of your variable as final, you cannot basically change that here. Okay, so if you see, you get a compile time issue. All right, so in real time, if you are make, you want to make sure, okay, a value which I want to want to use as a constant, okay, you use that, uh, you make that variable as final. All right. And also you make that when you are sure that you don't want to change or nobody can change it, you can very well say uh, final static, right? Because you know that when you make a variable as final and static, first of all, final, right? No one can change this and make it as a static because 
there is no point i don't have I, whenever i want to access the value of pi from somewhere from uh, outside of the class i don't have to create an instance of the particular class so in this case i am making the value uh, as final static all right so in olden days of uh, of your programming uh, strategy you will see lot when you see uh, final static okay you that means they have declared this particular variable as a constant basically okay all right now in this in this particular calculate uh, okay let me let's go back to the method here Okay, I I got a request here. Will uh, will you talk about setters? Yes, I will talk about setters now. All right. Now, usually, um, let's say let me change the signature of the uh, not the signature, the variable name here. Uh, first value, and make this as second value. Okay. So what I did uh, in the in your calculation, uh, usually I made this as first value and second value, all right. And you have got add me, wherein it is going to return you some value, for the first value plus second value. And <coughs> there are other different methods also you can use it accordingly. Okay. Now usually what happens is uh, you do not uh, you do not give the access of this particular variable. directly to someone who creates an instance of this class okay so what i do is i can have a setters and getters for each and every variable so what i do i can uh, write i can say let's say i can there is an option in eclipse you can right click and say uh, source generate getters and setters okay now here i can click on the first value and the second value and uh, say okay and when i say okay you can see the get first name and the set value uh, for your instance variable gets created here okay and i have a setter and a getter method for each of the variables here now what is the use of a setter i can a variable i can say here let's say sub dot set value instead of i can say instead of saying something as uh, sub dot uh, first value i usually say sub dot set method okay so this is a good way of practice of uh, creating accessing your variable i can even say as 12 here okay i have no problems in saying this but as a good practice you always create a setters and getters for each and every variable which is present in your method all right so here if suppose being a client let's say i i'm a client right now new class uh invoke method client and public static void main create this so what i do here in this case in the calculation let me just copy this uh, this piece and let's say i just have a constructor a no argument constructor here right so i can just say uh, calculate all right so because i am creating a no argument constructor here uh, because now okay i just missed out one more thing here let me just first finish that and then i'll, I'll talk about setters and getters here uh let me take this okay now what did we what did we do uh, we did say public animal this is your default constructor okay so this is a default constructor right now and what you do normally from your uh, main method you say uh, animal pomeranian equals to new animal because already you have a constructor with a parameter so you basically invoke this particular constructor right so even i can say something like uh, animal uh, a equals to new of animal right i'm good because there is already a default constructor but let's see what what happens if i remove this let me comment this out right 
the moment I commented this out, if you can see here, I got a compile time error saying that the constructor animal is undefined. Okay, that means when you are creating, when you have already created a constructor with some values, okay, that means you are uh, giving a uh, a compulsion to the users that whenever you create an animal give some length to the animal okay and without even giving a length you cannot proceed at all okay now here uh, I am forcing the user okay whether it could be a invoke method client here so if somebody says that animal a uh, dog equals to new animal right I cannot do that because I do not have a constructor a default constructor I need to have a constructor here with I need to invoke invoke create an instance of this class with some values here okay so this is one of the features which you with the help of that you cannot create an instance of a particular class okay okay so this is one part of your constructor wherein you cannot access it. Now, uh, tell me here in this particular class, uh, okay, the one question to the entire uh, destroy here is there anyone who is not following or is there anyone who wants me to be slow or anything as such? Please type in. You can just type in privately also uh, by choosing my name itself there so I'll just keep it uh, private yeah if if you do not have uh, any of the constructors the default uh, constructor will be created automatically okay but if you have any of the constructors uh, by default I mean you have created by yourself at that point of time the default constructors will not get created okay Yeah, we'll get into it, Madhu. Uh, first, let me uh, finish up other things also. Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll get into those things. Okay. So, no worries. Uh, Jairam, mm -hmm. uh, this is Madhu. Um, uh, I, I let confirm my understanding of static variable that mm -hmm. um, it is to have uh, a common data that all class instances can share. Exactly. Exactly. And second is. Uh, uh, if 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 you declare a static variable, mm -hmm. it won't be uh, the memory won't be allocated for each instance of a static variable. Exactly. So one one. Exactly. Uh, that's the advantage, right? That's the advantage. All right. Okay. Thanks. All right. Now, uh, if you guys remember about enum, okay, uh, we have spoken about enum in 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 previous sessions. Uh, so right now, I will give you a very good example of uh, an enum here. Okay. Uh, oh, where is that example? Enum example. Okay. Okay. So let me go back to the animal here. Uh, now you have an option that you can only create animals uh, size from one to four okay so for that reason i'm good here because i said animal pomerian one tiger two tiger four i can have uh, because the moment i do something i am doing some functionality here because uh, let's say on this tiger i have invoked your print my behavior right and this in the print my behavior uh, okay let me even remove this I don't want these things. Let's remove this. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. So I have got a print my behavior. Okay. So let me take this. Okay. So you have got two methods, uh, and you are very good at uh, I mean invoking the methods. Okay. You are okay. There is no problem at all. You are basically creating an animal with size one, size four, and depending on the print my behavior, what you are doing is if the length is uh, let's say I'm going to say uh, if the length 
equals to equals to one, right? So you're saying um, my length is my length is one. I am a one animal. And uh, if let me take the range as one, two, three. That's all. Okay. So I'm just going to take the range one, two, and three. Uh, and if the length equals to one, else if the length equals to two, right? So I'm going to say I'm a two animal. Else if length equals to three, okay? I'm saying I'm a three animal. So my objective is very clear whenever I print the behavior, I am only interested in printing the behavior one, two, and three. Apart from that, I'm not at all interested in any of the things here. Okay. Now, let me take a class. Let's say he's a client or he's a user of this particular animal and he is, his responsibility is to create animals. Okay. So new class and uh, you are saying here, uh, invoke or let's say create animal so i'm good here i'm i'm creating a, st a public study go admin method and uh, uh, what i'm going to do here is instead of doing this uh, all these things here i can just copy this and paste the same thing in your create animal class and as they both are in the same package i can variable access the class here okay now uh this as 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 a guy uh, whoever is creating an animal right uh, let's say i'm a very experienced guy i know that whenever you create an animal you create an animal of one or two or three okay so right click run as java application there is an error somewhere problems okay all right uh Fine. It, it says that uh, this is the invoke method client. Let me remove this for now. All right. So I have got a create animal and in the create animal, you have got uh, Pomerian and your tiger and uh, the size is okay. One and one and three. And I am a very old guy and I'm, I know everything about animals. So I'm good here. So when I say uh, copy the existing methods, and say uh, pomerian dot print my behavior or tiger dot print my behavior and good right click run as java application so i say uh, my length is one i'm a, i'm one animal my length is three i'm three animal okay uh, okay if let's say let's uh, give this a particular name to it if i say i am a pomerian and if the length is three, I'm say I'm a tiger animal. And the length is two, let's say I am, let's say a rat. Okay. So I've got three things. So if the length is two, or let's say you have got a huge rat, which is bigger than Pomerian, okay, but smaller than a tiger. So it is a big, uh, big animal, uh, not a big animal. He's basically a medium animal. Okay. I right click, I, I, I can even create an instance of uh, a rat also and say rat and i basically say three here two here okay and i say rat dot print my behavior so right click do you have to extend animal in the top uh no here we don't have to because uh, in the previous session as i said uh, this is just a different class here and this is nowhere related to the inheritance okay this is a, a different class with the help of that class you can basically create the instance of this particular objects okay when we talk about uh, extents and stuff and all in that place you basically try to inherit the properties of your super classes you don't have to do that in this case all right okay now right click run as Java okay, the question was, uh, do we have to extend animal class in the top? 
So uh, there was a question here. It says that uh, do we need to say extends animal? Okay, because uh, if you see uh, when you say ex uh, when you try to create some animal here, you feel that okay, where is this? I mean, how this animal is coming into this class? You don't have to extend this because this class is already present in the same package, so you can very well access that. Okay. I can even access the uh, uh, calculation also if you see here. I can say uh, calculation uh, CLC equals to new of calculation. Okay, so there is no uh, restriction in not to use this. I think calculation doesn't have a default constructor, so it is giving an issue. Okay, so basically, if I say this one, copy this and go to your this. Okay. I can even create an instance of your calculation also. All right. Okay. So I'm not interested in this calculation right now. Uh, okay. Now, I told Pomerian dot print my behavior, uh, Tiger dot print my behavior, and guys, it's already nine. I'll take uh, five to ten minutes more, and then we'll wind up. This is a bit imp uh, important to understand right now. Okay. Uh, so I told Pomerian dot print my behavior tiger and rat print my behavior behavior very very well and very good okay now tomorrow uh, if I run this run as Java application so I get rat tiger Pomerian and stuff tomorrow uh, a new person comes in and he says uh, I'm going to create a new animal let's say this is a create animal let's say I'll say new uh, class create huge animal okay so for him uh, he wants to create some huge animal okay so say create huge animal so what he does basically uh, he copies let's say i'll just copy this he doesn't know what to pass basically right he doesn't know what to pass what he does he, he passes five here he wants to create a huge animal okay from his point of view a huge animal is always more than five right but if you can see if i say uh, let's say this is a uh, dinosaur okay and i say dino dot print my behavior right so that's what i did in the previous sessions also but this guy he does he's not at all aware of what what value to pass on here he's free to pass any of the values here so what it is he right clicks and runs and sees no output but he gets mad i mean what is this i'm not getting any output here right now the question is how do we restrict a user to pass a particular value itself okay i want to say only pass one or two or three that's all okay so what i can do now if if you know that i cannot pass a string here right because it will not allow me to pass it because the constructor which we have created is what it is it, it is going to take a integer data type here for that reason if we talk about animal here if there is no point we can use any of the other data type okay if you if you use your uh, let's say 3.14 okay it will even give you an issue saying that this is what this is a your double basically and you cannot use a double in place of your integer so only you have to use integer but even though i use an integer uh, the create huge animal uh, person okay the person who is creating a huge animal he does not he has a flexibility to add anything here as a result he is not getting the proper behavior right if he right click runs he says nothing is happening now how do we restrict him okay now let's revisit the animal uh, class here okay now in this animal class what i'm going to do is uh, instead of having a, a constructor which is going to take an integer value here I will put a enum here. Okay, so if somebody has at least uh, written some examples of enum or practice this, it will be very useful for them to understand. Okay, so it is actually I'm teasing other guys who has uh, who has not practiced basically. All right, so uh, let me say right click new. I am going to create a enum class and say uh, animal length. Okay, animal. Okay, so that's all. Finish. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, 
low okay small comma medium comma large that's all i have it basically right so as i'm i'm i'm, I'm selling or i'm i'm only interested in small medium and large right and even i spoke to you that uh, i can basically have uh, let's say int value okay and here uh, uh okay mm, it says delete this okay we'll do one thing uh we'll just have a constructor here right and in this constructor i'm going to say uh i'm going to pass some values here right so i'm going to say 1 i'm going to say 2 and i'm going to say 3 all right and i'm going to say uh, int i and let me say int of uh, size equals to 0 and i want to say this dot size equals to i or let me say this as also size equal to size all right Uh, and then i can even have uh, a getter method for this because i want to access this particular uh, value okay so for that reason i say uh, public int get uh, size so which is basically going to return me the size of the particular animal okay or the size of uh, what size basically i need it okay so let's do let's see what uh, what am i going to do here copy this and go to your animal class instead of having your int i want to say something like this size okay and then uh length okay instead of having your length i want to change the data type also to a length here okay now this dot length equal to length i am very good uh, i have no problems here but here it says incompatible operand uh, type animal and length okay it says that it is not actually accepting uh, because this is a different data type this is a different data type okay now uh i'm basically going to check here i'm going to say dot if it is a small okay uh if it is a small it is a pomeranian animal right so copy this i do not have to create an instance of the animal length so if it is your medium do this and if it is your large do this okay now what did i do i did some changes in the met existing methods okay because in order to comply through what i need now let's go back to the create animal so in the create animal what are you supposed to do what are you supposed to pass you are not you cannot pass 1 2 or 3 right you are supposed to pass animal dot small animal dot uh, large and animal dot medium okay now i created three things uh, saying pomeranian small if i run this application right now run as a application where is that i'm getting some compilation issues uh okay so let me comment this out these things are not required as of now okay okay even let me comment this out and comment this out all right now here uh, in the first uh, person who is already a experienced guy he knows okay animal uh, length dot small large and medium so he runs this application runs in java application and where is the console right click run as java application okay yeah the few things which we are we have to see here but ultimately what happens the animal dot length goes here right so you come here and you basically say the length okay the length of the animal you basically come here and you basically say length equals to equals to small okay so what i am going to do here is uh, let's say let me even remove this and say uh uh dot get 
we already have one constructor I believe here dot get size okay so let me instead of doing the other way out let us first do it in this way okay if the size equals to one because uh, the moment I say small and get size I'll get the value as one and I say here dot get size and this is your let's say let me just change this order here okay and change the order here to make it as three okay I, I did some modification to the existing API okay and now what happens uh, when you say a small dot get size you get this uh, the value of one two or three here so let me run this application right now create animal run as java application okay now what happens basically okay the length is uh, you, you're not getting the length here so what i can do here is i can go back here and uh, to the animal and uh, the length uh, okay just don't go with the length right now uh, we'll talk about it at later point. Uh, all right. So, okay. Ultimately, I'm getting I am a Pomerian. I am a Pomerian. Is it three times? Is it getting three times here? Hang on. What's happening here? When you say animal dot large. One sec. Let me debug this. So you say debug as Java application. It comes here and you can even basically see this value. Control shift. Right click. Inspect. Okay. You can see the value as two here. Okay. The value is two. And F6. What's happening here? One sec, something is wrong. Well, so what you're doing, you're just saying size and this size goes into the size of the animal here. Uh, this is the size. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. I got it now. We did a mistake here. Okay. So in this, I'm not uh, basically setting the length over here. Okay. I think we, we can go back to the previous uh, example. What? Let me just run this and see. Right click run as it's application. Okay. So you're saying I'm the length is small, uh, uh, the length is large and length is medium. So depending on that, what you get, you get the length here. Okay. I think let me change the value here. Let me go back. Uh, guys, we'll do one thing. Uh, I think uh, it's, it's more than what we are uh, supposed to. Uh, we'll do one thing. We'll just uh, stop this discussion here and uh, we'll proceed with the same discussion uh, in the next session. Is it okay for all of you? Okay. All right. I, I get it. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. The next class will be on, uh, um, on Monday. Okay. So I would request everyone to at least, uh, get a hold of, uh, what is an enum. Okay. Because this will be a very good discussion for us. Uh, I don't want to overhead you right now. So for that reason, I'm going to stop this. We'll have a, a good discussion on Monday and I, I would request everyone to please, please and please practice this enum. Okay. And come with, uh, come with it. And, uh, one sec guys, uh, give me a sec. Okay. And I would request everyone to please uh, fill in the uh, feedback form and uh, put some comments to it. 
whether I'm teaching bad or good or anything as such. And so that uh, I understand your thoughts and we, we, we can take it up accordingly. Okay. So request you to do that. All right. Thanks guys and have a nice weekend. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll be there for five, five minutes right now. You can just ask me questions now and then we can move on. Thank you. Oh no no. Hmm? Yeah, yes. Emphasis provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Emphasis: How we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com.